Hi, welcome back to Dr. Heather ND. Today I'm coming to you from my home in the Northeast. As you can see, it's beautiful and green and we're just starting fall here. Um, and you'll see in a minute why I chose to film in this spot. Today we're going to talk about negative ions and the breeze is kind of slowly blowing through behind me. Maybe you can see it, maybe you can hear it, but I'm going to talk about that in a minute as we go through our discussion today. Um, so before we really get started, I thought I would flash you back to chemistry. Um, maybe some of you guys know this, maybe not, but I took a couple of years off between undergrad and naturopathic medical school, and one of the things that I did in that time was teach, and one of the things that I taught was a little bit of high school chemistry. Um, so I'm going to take you back to that, and we're going to talk a little bit about ions. So an ion is basically just a charged atom. So atoms are happiest when they're neutral. Neutral meaning they're not excessively positive, they're not excessively negative, they're just neutrally charged. An ion is an atom that has a charge, so it's either a positive or a negative ion. And basically all that, all that comes down to is the number of electrons, whether there are any excess electrons or an electron missing perhaps um, in the outside ring of an atom. So electrons are negatively charged. If you have an extra electron, you've got a negative ion. If you're missing an electron, you've got a positive ion. So keep that in mind because it ties into what we're talking about today, which is again, um, well, positive and negative ions, but we're really talking about negative ions and the positive health benefits of those. So again, we're out in nature today, just enjoying the greenery and the fresh air and the sunshine. Um, there are a lot of really good reasons to get out in nature. I definitely want to go through um, the principles of naturopathic medicine in a video soon. One of our principles is the healing power of nature, and that's so many fold. Um, one of the kind of places that that's coming from, that naturopathic principle, the healing power of nature, is that there is so much in nature just to being out in nature and also components that we can um, use for our benefit from nature that are really healthy to us. So some people these days are even saying vitamin N is nature and it's true. We all need nature in our lives. We're connected to it whether we realize it or not and it's really beneficial for our being to be out in it and to really have that connection to it. Where we're eating from nature, we're spending time in nature um, and we really recognize that connection. So one of, um, one of the many reasons why it's healthy to be outside and to be enjoying nature um, is the negative ion component of it. So we talked a little bit in our last video or in one of our recent videos about sleep hygiene. And one of the things that I talked about in that video was Himalayan salt lamps and why I really love them at night. Um, the angle of that video was more light-dark regulation and how we can use Himalayan salt lamps at night if we're trying to soothe the mood, kind of bring that light and energy down in the evening after the sun goes down. Um, so that's a definite um, positive benefit of Himalayan salt lamps is just the ambiance and being able to kind of regulate that nighttime lighting. Um, but something that Himalayan salt lamps do, really a major component of why they're so healthy to have around, um, is that they produce negative ions. And so when that, so a salt lamp is basically the Himalayan salt and then you've got the light bulb on the inside. When you turn it on, that light bulb gives off a little bit of heat and that heat is what generates um, kind of the pushing off of those negative ions from the actual salt that's surrounding that light bulb. And so inside, there are not many sources of negative ions. Himalayan salt lamps are one. Um, so again, that's a good reason to have Himalayan salt lamps inside. You've got that negative ion source from the Himalayan salt lamp. Aside from that though, um, most of your negative ions are found outside in nature. And so if we go back to our chemistry talk, where we're talking about how ions are, or atoms are happiest when they're neutral, but they can become a positive or a negative ion when they either gain an electron or lose an electron. Since they're happiest when they're neutral, it's kind of hard for them to do that. They'd rather not do that. They don't want to pick up an extra electron and become negatively charged. They don't want to lose an electron and become positively charged because they're just not happiest that way. So, um, okay. Um, so it takes a little bit of force to 
kind of cause them to gain or lose an electron. So think about things in nature that ruffle things up. So if, as you can see behind me, the, the breeze is blowing through the trees and the leaves are rubbing against each other. So that friction can create ions. Basically, it's almost like sloughing off some electrons from the outside of an atom. So that's one way that we can get negative ions. That's why I chose to do this video um, outside with the leaves blowing in the breeze behind me. So leaves blowing through the trees is one source of negative ions outside. Um, waterfalls are a big source. Um, after a thunderstorm, with, with all those charges in the air, that's one of the most um, that's one of the times when the negative ions in the air are most concentrated. When you're at the beach and the waves are crashing on the shore, um, that's also a place where you'll find a high concentration of negative ions. So again, most negative ions are found outside in nature because that's just um, where they tend to be generated. Inside, we've got a more enclosed um, and kind of a protected insulated environment where there's not really much opportunity for negative ions to be made. Again, the difference with that is in the salt lamps. Um, so the salt lamps do generate those negative ions and then um, in terms of how that affects our systems, it's, it's many fold. Um, one of the main things that negative ions do is they help our bodies to produce serotonin. So serotonin is one of those happy hormones. Um, so if we have more regulated or increased levels of serotonin, we tend to have things like a better mood. So this can help people with seasonal affective disorder, um, with anxiety and depression. It can kind of help balance us out and get to more stable, um, happier place. It can help with sleep. Um, it's actually what, um, well, it can also help with production. So like mental clarity and reduced uh, fogginess. But it also, what it does in the body is it promotes superoxide dismutase, or SOD, which is one of the body's um, main antioxidants. Another thing that negative ions do, um, especially in the house, is since we talked about the, the negative and the positive um, ions and how ion, or atoms are actually happier when they're neutral, positive and negative like to attract and bind together because if you have an extra electron on this side and a missing electron on this side, when two, when those two atoms come together, they become neutral. Um, so what happens inside, especially when you've got a Himalayan salt lamp going, for example, if that Himalayan salt lamp is spewing off the negative ions into the air, a lot of things that kind of float around inside that we don't necessarily want in there, things like um, bacteria and viruses, things like mold spores, um, dust, a lot of those are positively charged. And so when you've got the negative ion from the salt lamp and then the positive, either bacteria or virus or whatever icky thing that we don't want floating around inside, um, they'll come together and bind. And then a lot of times that will make them um, heavy enough to drop out of the air. So then it's just important to make sure you're doing things like vacuuming and dusting regularly so that we can get rid of those once they fall out to the ground or onto surfaces. Um, so those are some of the positive benefits of negative ions um, in the body, and it's also kind of a little bit how it works, just so you have an idea of why negative ions are actually so good for you. I know it seems counterintuitive because you think, oh, positive ions should be positive for us, but actually negative ions are really beneficial in so many ways to our health. So that was a little introduction to negative ions some sources of them, mostly outside, some inside if we introduce them with like a Himalayan salt lamp. You can also get um, negative ionizers that you just buy almost like an air filter. Um, so that's also an option. Salt lamps are great to have around, but if you really want to go for something that's um, meant to specifically spew out those negative ions, definitely look into um, a negative ionizer to buy for your house or your office space. Um, but otherwise, one of the best ways to get these negative ions is really just to come outside in nature. So come out when there's a little bit of a breeze and the leaves are rustling. Go to a waterfall if you have one close to you or the ocean. Um, those are all great ways to get exposure to those negative ions and to really boost your mood and to get those other positive health benefits to regulate those serotonin levels. It can even help in addition to just mood and productivity, like mental productivity, 
it even also just helps balance our neurotransmitter system and really give us better sleep. So it really stabilizes kind of all aspects of our, um, of our mental health. So definitely look for those sources of negative ions. If you're interested in more information, I'm going to put a link in the description to a YouTube video that has a really um, great and scientific um, uh, approach to negative ions. So the man who <clears throat> made the video and talks through it, he goes through a lot of different scientific studies and he brings you on a journey of his um, research into negative ions and their effects on the human body. Um, so that's a video that I recommend. And I also wrote in the past a blog post um, about clean air. So I talk about Himalayan salt lamps in there. I talk about negative ions. I'm going to put the link to that in the description below as well. So you can check that out for more information. Um, but otherwise, I hope that this video was interesting. I hope that you learned from it. And I hope that you're soon going to go get outside and get some of those negative ions for yourself. Have a great day, and thanks for being here with Dr. Heather MD.